Hello, and thank you so much for being here with me, Brandy, at Back to One. So, I have been receiving some new decks, and it is beyond, um, <clears throat> beyond excitement to be able to share these and the guidance that they bring with us. So, um, it's kind of, I'm making it a love tarot, okay? So I'm gonna use um, my new Moonology deck that I just got and um, some love oracle messages. And it's not a new deck, but it is my favorite deck and um, some heart and soul insight to go with the oracle messages. And I tried to go live, but it would not let me. So <clears throat> here we are. And I hope that you gain the, the guidance, the knowledge, the wisdom, um, whatever you're seeking. I hope that um, you gain that from this video or uh, the guidance to the epiphany to help you. So we're in airy season. So it's, the, um, it's not deep uh, emotions right now, which is kind of liberating. And um, the sun is out shining even, so people are, are getting outside. And you know, even short tempers, like there is a downside to the fiery energy. But <clears throat> I wanted to go ahead and see what, this is a collective message. This is a collective message. I may do a pick a pile later, but um, let's go ahead and see what beautiful love oracle messages we receive and moonology. I'm just gonna shuffle all these real quick. Here we go. Beautiful moonology cards. Can you bless the collective of Back to One with, with this beautiful moonology deck for the present moment when they find this video? Whoa, that was super fancy. Full moon in Aquarius. Show the world the real you. <clears throat> Holy moly. So what's really cool about this deck is you go and you find the cards page, right? And it blesses you with an affirmation. Okay, so three through three on the clock. Oh, man. amen. Okay, so be aware of your feelings so but also be prepared to move on. And it says, don't lose the beauty and romance of life. You are too much in your head, get into your heart. A friend needs you, be there for them. A situation is going to take a very unexpected turn. <clears throat> you need to detach a little from whatever situation you're asking about. Someone might be keeping you at arm's length, but it's not a bad thing. It's important for you to allow life to unfold in progress, even if the changes seem like they are a frightening prospect. <coughs> okay, I'm definitely having a... Uh... Goodness, I'm so sorry. Maybe uh, work on your throat chakra. Okay, so this full moon is a time to release and let go, but in addition to the Aquarian energy, um, it could be that, you know, you might be, there's some clinginess or there's time to let go or uh, 
perhaps you're the one that needs to let go. <clears throat> Whatever happens could be highly unconventional and unexpected. Go ahead and be yourself in whatever is coming up for you. Whoa, that's a lot. <laughs> and the love oracle message to go with this full moon Aquarius card. Show the world the real you. What magical love oracle message. self-indulgence focus on yourself 555 five, five. changes here focus on yourself your self-worth this is time to heal this is shadow work this is self-appreciation how are you showing yourself love <gasps> holy moly love call someone's expressing love a message of love thinking of you and letting you know whoa so you're letting go, you're being the real you, and you're manifesting some uh, anything else? Anything else from this beautiful deck? Oop, okay, a couple other messages. Not showing true feelings, hide, pretending, delude, gaslighting. Okay, so this, there's a mask. Ooh, the competition. Uh, enemy, or enemy. <laughs> enemy, looking over your shoulder, the other woman, okay? Maybe somebody's coming out the woodwork. Or maybe the, woof, 717 on the clock. <clears throat> <clears throat> this might be two different situations. The love oracle messages. Heart and soul insight for the cards that lay before us. This present moment. Okay. Oof. Lies corrupt the soul. When you lie, you not only deceive yourself, you, <laughs> you, while you're deceiving someone else, you're also fooling yourself. Spirituality is found in truth. Loss of a loved one. Eliminating deceit and getting that shit out of the way. Maybe that's what you need to uh, let go of. Woof, man, these are deep. Anything else? Anything else? Oof, releasing guilt. Guilt is a spiritual killer. <sighs> Unless you have been malice to someone, intentionally harming someone. Otherwise, guilt is useless exercise that destroys spiritual growth. Living without despair. Despair is the feeding ground of darkness. It robs us of all hope. And when there is no hope, there is no light. And the soul gives up. Remember that we are what we think. So optimism dispels despair. And things can immediately begin to look up. Nine on the clock. Oh my gosh. These are powerful numbers. Anything else from this beautiful Heart and Soul Inside deck? Bam. Moderation. Too much of something can stop your body and your soul's growth. Ask God to help strengthen your will and to help you learn restraint. Nutrition. Eat some protein. Woof. Man, those are intense. I hope that you have uh, found the utmost guidance. I am going to um, 
grab a couple other decks and I will see you soon in the next video. Thank you so much for being here with me, Brandy.